You're about to meet Alfredo Garcia. He's a three time convicted felon who has now had his record expunged. He's in this country illegally and he's filed more than 600 lawsuits against Southern California businesses saying they're not accessible for the disabled. But in at least one of his many, many cases, Garcia was caught in a lie and your tax dollars are paying for his lawsuits. Carter <laughs> here. Alfredo Garcia. A 41 year old undocumented immigrant. Show this to them. And professional plaintiff. Tell me why you filed lawsuits. Wow. Why not? He's never happy to see our cameras. What do you want me to do? But we've been following what some call his landslide of litigation for more than a year. Mr. Garcia and his attorney target small mom and pops type business. Businesses. At least 600 lawsuits so far. Garcia demanded $12,000 from La Casita Mexicana in Bell, saying its bathroom mirror was too high. We knew right away he was a scam. Garcia says he ate at La Casita four times, but surveillance video from those four dates shows no one in a wheelchair visiting the bathroom, which, by the way, has a full-length mirror attached to the door. We were able to determine that Mr. Garcia had never even been to the restaurant. That's what landed Alfredo Garcia in this Huntington Park courtroom yesterday. I have it to go into the court. La Casita fought back, suing Garcia for abuse of process. La Casita won, but Garcia refused to pay the $5,000 in damages. I don't have no money. You've got all, almost a year to pay him his money to give him every, information. Garcia tells the judge he doesn't have the money, but paralegal Danielle Munoz says that simply isn't true. He has a, a steady source of income, which comes from filing these lawsuits. Some of those cases, you know, he, he walks away with two. Sometimes he walks away with uh, four or five thousand dollars, sometimes more. Eyewitness News has learned Garcia has made at least one hundred sixty six thousand dollars from settlements in his hundreds of lawsuits. It's money he admitted to us he doesn't pay taxes on as required by law. So you haven't paid taxes on any of the settlements you've won over the years? No. In fact, Garcia testified under oath that he has not paid federal income taxes since 1995. I'm going to pay, maybe. That testimony about taxes came in Garcia's August 2011 trial against Quick Stop Auto Center owner Joshua Koo. It's not right. It's not right. Garcia lost thanks in part to retired L.A. Superior Court Judge Brett Klein, who defended Koo for free. He sued my longtime auto mechanic. Klein remembers Garcia from his own days on the bench. That's his career. He goes from restroom to restroom uh, looking for violations. In Ku's case, Garcia bypassed the building's accessible bathroom and asked to use the employee-only bathroom in the back. They said uh, something set up for uh, make a deal like that, so I said no. Here's a big cluster around the uh, courthouse. Klein created this visual aid for the trial, push pins to represent a few hundred of the L.A. businesses Garcia has sued. I did run into some difficulties because there were times when his work was so geographically dense uh, that there wasn't room for all the push pins. Jer Crichel was on the jury and didn't buy Garcia's story. He didn't think to himself, I'm humiliated or I'm embarrassed. He thought to himself, that's $4,000. Ka-ching! And you, the taxpayer, are paying for Garcia's lawsuits. In almost every one of the hundreds of cases Eyewitness News reviewed, Garcia requested and was granted a fee waiver from the courts. Yes, it's, it's rubber stamped. Back at the Huntington Park Courthouse. You are found to be in direct contempt of this court. You are ordered, remanded to the county jail. Garcia is led away, but then... Once he was put in, uh, being taken into custody, Mr. Garcia had a change of heart, and all of a sudden he produced a, a check for the, for the full amount. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, man. For the owners of La Casita Mexicana, it's justice served. We're we'll very thankful with Daniel. We're going to cook a special dinner for him. It may be over for La Casita, but not for Garcia. Are you going to keep filing lawsuits? Yes. Yes? Yes. I'm doing it for, for disabled people. Well, they may not be doing it for much longer. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement is trying to deport him. The final decision on that will be up to a judge. And we want to mention State Senator uh, Bob Dutton plans to introduce new legislation next year that would give business owners 90 days to fix an ADA violation before a lawsuit can be filed.